Hello everyone! In this video series, I will create Plate Scanner Android app with Jetpack Compose. When I researched plate recognition, I came across these keywords. TensorFlow, Canon Algorithm, Plate Recognizer APIs and Google Vision. Some of them paid services and I don't know some of them. I tried Canon teaching but it didn't be as good as I wanted. So I need something free and something can run offline. In this project, I will use camera API for embedded camera. In order to get more efficiency from reading with Google Vision, we will crop the photo and we will eliminate OCR results with regex. Let's get started. I'll start with initial project which I prepared. You can find the initial project link in the description. In this project, I add some plugins for dependencies. For permission check, I will use this. There is some compose dependencies for like navigation, view model, etc. As I said, I will use camera API. These are the dependencies. For image loading, I will use coil. Also, I will use dependency injection with dagger hilt. This is for Google Vision optic character recognition. Lastly, I'll use Timber for console logging. In module level dependencies, these two class paths should be added. In manifest file, we need camera permissions. In this project, I will use MVVM and I will follow clean architecture patterns. So we need these folder structure. I will explain the relation between files, but as a short, in presentation, I will place UI stuff like screens and view models. Repository and use cases will place in domain package. There is dependency injection package for app module. In data, we will hold repository implementation. Lastly, in core package, we will have some utils and there is constants file. It includes some regex expressions for Turkish plate and default image path. In strings file, there is some error message strings. In this project, we have two screen. In camera screen, we have two components, rectangle canvas and capture button. I'm creating a new Kotlin file named rectangle shape. Add composable function with preview annotation to see what is happening. I need a canvas that fills screen maximum size. So I'm adding this modifier. Then I'm adding this code to achieve desired result we want. This code first paints the entire canvas black with 0.6 opacity. Then draw a rectangle positioned in the middle of the screen. And the whole code is making that everything else stays black except for the middle rectangle. Additionally, I add a green rectangular frame to make it look nice. Now let's come back to the Android Studio and let's create camera capture button. Since the purpose of this series is not a create a custom button, I will not explain the creation of the button. You can use a standard button or you can copy it directly. The only thing about this button is that when it's clicked, its color changes and it's rounded. We also need a progress bar and I'm adding it quickly. We need to add last component which is camera preview. There is no composable for that. That's why we should create it customly with Android view. This composable will take modifier, scale type and use case which is related with camera API. Let's add Android view. In its factory, I'm creating a preview view then giving it to the preview builder. And that's it. Let me arrange folder structure to be more understandable. 
Let's move components folder to the UI package. Then create camera and scan package with their screen KT files. Now, let's create the camera screen using the components we created. It has modifier and on navigate parameters for navigation to scan screen. We need camera preview, rectangle shape over preview, and lastly, our capture button. We will provide capture button click event and camera preview use case from view model. Now I'm going to create the UI of scan screen. This is simple screen. It has modifier and string Yuri as a parameter and it has image for showing cropped image, a spacer, text for showing the OCR result, button for call scanning function and that's it. Now let's set the navigation between the screens. In main activity remove these codes and add navigation controller. In navigation host set the start destination then add our to screen. I will send the URI of the photo taken from camera screen to scan screen. So it has an argument named STR URI. To test navigation, let's call it from camera screen button with dummy URI data. Finally, let's run and test the app. As you can see, our UI working properly. In the next video, we will make the camera feature work and we will do photo scanning with OCR. See you in the next video.